हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो लास्ट वीडियो मैंने बात करी थी डीजी रूम्स के वेंटिलेशन के बारे में इस वीडियो में बात करूंगा ट्रांसफार्मर रूम्स का वेंटिलेशन और उसका हम डिजाइन रेविट में कैसे करते हैं तो ट्रांसफार्मर रूम का वेंटिलेशन की रिक्वायरमेंट क्यों होती है बिकॉज जहां पर ट्रांसफार्मर्स रखे जाते हैं वहां पर हीट का डिसिपेशन बहुत ज्यादा होता है टेम्परेचर बहुत ज्यादा आपका हाई हो जाता है एम्बियंट से भी काफी ज्यादा हाई हो जाता है ठीक है हीट डिसिपेशन की वजह से तो इसी वजह से वहां पर आपकी वेंटिलेशन की रिक्वायरमेंट है आइदर इट कैन बी नेचुरली वेंटिलेटेड और फोर्स वेंटिलेटेड ओके तो एक प्रोजेक्ट एक सैंपल एक ड्राइंग है मेरे पास उससे काफी यूल गेट द आइडिया कि हाउ वी डू द वेंटिलेशन इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मर रूम्स तो इसमें आप देखोगे तो वी हैव दिस सर ट्रांसफॉर्मर रूम ओके एंड देर आर थ्री ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स आर प्लेस्ड Uh, each of 150 kva if you show the 3d view of this building okay so this is your transformer room okay inside view if i show you let me make it a section section view and let it crop okay so this is a trans transformers each of 1250 kva okay if this is the enclosure okay if you see inside it let's make it fine okay so these are like uh, cylinders like okay so is room ka ventilation if uh, we have to do the ventilation of this area okay i'll go to the plan and open that so it can be either natural ventilation we can do the natural ventilation or forced ventilation okay so forced ventilation may be require a fan okay we require a fan for the exhaust and fresh air no fan is required and this can be naturally taken from outside so either we can uh, provide a louver door or if it is not a louver door we can provide a fresh air louvers okay and natural ventilation we don't it does not require any fan for exhaust so in this what is the scope of design first we really need to calculate the exhaust air flows fresh air intake air flows and then the louver cycle so in the drawing we have these uh, three transformers okay so when you select it you can change uh, the ratings okay we have uh, 250 400 630 kva 800 kva up to we have uh, around 3150 kva okay so let's for example i have taken 800 kva of transformers each okay <laughs> and uh, you can download the family of the transformers uh, like uh, this is the family i'll share this family in this we have for the different ratings we have different sizes okay so this family you can download for your uh, practice purpose in our case what we have taken we have taken 800 kva transformers three numbers right okay let's start let's start the calculation go to the excel sheet so for first thing to start the calculation you need the total heat dissipation how much matlab heat ko kitna dissipate kar raha hai wo teeno jo transformers hain to teeno mein se kitna heat space mein dissipate ho raha hai reject ho raha hai to ek excel sheet hai theek hai based uh, whatever your electrical equipment is you can use this excel sheet to calculate the heat loss okay heat rejection from the uh, from that electrical equipment so that electrical equipment in our case is transformer transformer quantity is 3 what is the rating i'll go to the uh, drawing it is 800 kva okay 800 kva power factor so power factor it uh, ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 okay you can ask from your uh, like uh, the electrical consultant what it varies in your case okay i'll say for example i'll take 0.98 in our case efficiency of the transformer varies from 95 to 99% or in this case i'll take say for example 98% and based on the formula you'll get the electrical kilowatts 784 so this is the electrical kilowatt but we need the heat dissipation so heat dissipation for heat dissipation we have another formula that i have used over here and you can check the detailed uh, this formula in that dg room ventilation video i have explained this in detail <laughs> so total heat loss from these uh, three transformers is 48 kilowatts 
okay so i'll use this 48 kilowatt or you can what you can do you can link this 48 okay and next it is asking for the ambient temperature so ambient temperature for new delhi i'll say for example i'll take 43 degrees celsius okay design room temperature it should be minimum 5 degree higher than t1 so t1 is the ambient temperature and minimum it should be 5 degree higher but maximum maximum in this case like in the dg room maximum is 50 degrees celsius but in the case of transformer we cannot go beyond maximum allowable temperature is 55 this is for transformer room and this is for dg room okay okay so design temperature will take say 50 degrees celsius it is uh, higher than 5 degree temperature difference now ventilating airflow it is uh, having the formula Okay, you can check the details of the formula uh, in the DG room ventilation video. <clears throat> then we total ventilating, ventilating airflow is 12,103 CFM. Okay, just I have converted this into CFM. That's it, nothing. Conversion factor is 2118. Number of fans, I'll use one number of fan. And the CFM I'm getting 12,103 CFM for the gen, uh, transformer room. Now uh, the lower exhaust I'll design on 2.5 for exhaust and 1.5 for fresh air. Okay, it should not be more, not more than 2.5. And once you divide the flow rate by the velocity, you'll get the area. Okay, and similarly for fresh air also Q by V, you'll get the area. Now let let's uh, model this uh, system. Okay, so our flow rate is how much? uh 12103 okay uh 12103 cfm and we are using one fan i'll take one fan go to the mechanical equipment okay rotate this and click on this connector okay when you click on this connector we have a duct okay when you select this duct it is showing a round duct but i need a rectangular one okay now for this uh, cfm what is the duct size what is the duct size <laughs> let me open this one uh, the cfm is 12103 friction i'll take 0 0.1 and uh, say 30 it is 36 32 by 33 so i'll take 32 by 34 inches that is 850 by 800 okay so select this duct and make it uh 850 by 800 okay go to the section select this one and move it up to the slab and make an offset of 100 degree 100 uh, mm okay perfect go to the plan view again and i'll click on this one also again same and put it over here what is the duct size 850 by uh, 800 let's make it 850 by 800 but first make it as a rectangular one okay then make the duct as 850 by 800 okay that's fine let's check the 3d view also uh, not this one uh, this one perfect i'll make it medium so this is your uh, <clears throat> exhaust fan in this uh, the thing which is left is one is the bell mouth and the louver okay for exhaust so i'll take one uh, air terminal that is one exhaust louver exhaust louver what is the louver area this is 2.3 meter square okay so i can take the sizes by one meter okay this is the size i can take for this area 2.3 into 1 that will be come out to be 2.3 so 2.3 uh, so, uh, uh, 2300 by one meter uh, one one meter correct go to the exhaust lower select this one duplicate 2300 multiplied by one meter 
okay i'll make it taste so by hazar okay and click okay perfect make it as center line and click on this one connect it what is the elevation of this one copy this elevation that is 2700 select this one and paste it over here so both will be at the same elevation right okay it is clashing with this slab also so i'll make it this whole assembly 100 meter below okay and align this uh, lower with this wall surface and put it this back align this one with this one okay just uh, check the 3d view okay this is fine okay and bell mouth okay so bell mouth also required select this one product and 850 950 1050 okay two size higher i'll take and 900 and 1000 okay fine now before this you must place the nrd also the exhaust okay so i'll go to the duct accessories here i have non-return damper select this non-return damper and place it over here okay make it medium and just rotate this again so we have an nrd okay now this uh, arrangement is okay fine now uh, i have to place one standby also okay so this is of uh, 12103 cfm i have to place one standby also i what i'll do i'll copy this whole arrangement okay and copy this from this point to this point so there will be one working and one standby okay so it's looking fine so this is for the what uh, exhaust air next we'll be doing for the fresh air so fresh air see if you uh, sometimes what happen uh, architect used to give lower door so in this case if you see these doors are lower doors okay so whatever our requirement like for example in this case our requirement is 3.8 meter square of fresh uh, air lower required right so we can tell the architect that you must have to uh, the free area like the area which is required for the fresh air is 3.8 so they'll uh, take the size in the door itself so in that case you don't need to provide any lower over here okay but if it is not lower door in that case you have to provide the fresh air lower okay like we for, for example we consider there is no lower okay no lower door in that case what you have to do for example i we have a 3.8 requirement 3.8 meter square okay so what i'll do half area fresh air i'll take from here from this wall and half i'll take from this wall so 3.8 uh 3.8 divided by 2 that is 1.9 means 2 square meter from one side 2 square meter from other side okay so the size will be for two square meter two meter by one meter two numbers okay two numbers of uh, fresh air lower of size two meter by one meter i'll go to the model i'll go to the model go to the plan view and i'll select one air terminal fresh air lower so oh, I have a two meter by one meter fresh air lower over here and I'll place it over here and put an exhaust, sorry, fresh air. This is the plenum. Make the system as fresh air, okay? Make sure to check the elevation, okay? okay fine so this you can align with the door height so it it, it must look good okay uh, let me check in the 3d view itself okay so this is the height right so i'll align with the door height so door height is up to here and this should be up to here 
now it is looking fine correct okay same one this side also select this copy and i'll take one over here fine so this is how you will do in that in the case in which we don't have any louver door if it is a louver door fresh air louvers are not required okay and i think this is okay fine okay thank you all of you